Hello people, oh, yes, uh, so yeah, I'm back here again on YouTube for uh, just a quick sort of little update vlog. Um, again, I apologise for my absence, but uh, <laughs> the reason, partly the reason why I'm, you know, for my over three week absence this time around is that I have not been so well, more or less over the past week. Okay. <coughs> I came down with a bit of a bad cold, quite a bad cold, and, like last Friday and Saturday I was practically confined in my bed and then started to feel better and then yesterday I was more or less in bed again, it just came back again. But yeah, so, well, as I say, I'm out and about. Um, I've just been out, done a bit of shopping, had something to eat. Uh, so yeah, well, TF Nation is now about just, three, just over three months away. And yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. Um, yeah, you know, you know, see more videos starting to come up. Uh, again, I didn't get I didn't get to go to the minicom this year, unfortunately, but I'm sure we'll have plenty of fun at the main event. <laughs> oh, sorry. Um, yeah. Um, so, um, yeah. Um, you know, it's still like three months away, really. So, but. Uh, you know, that's a short amount of time. I can't believe that, you know, we're already in May. I just can't believe it, that we're... Where's this year going? This year is practically whizzing by. It's scary how quickly time just goes by these days. I mean, we've got my Uncle Martin's wedding and his wife Sarah, uh, his Aunt Sarah's wedding in, in June. That's in about, we'll be heading up there in about two and a half weeks. Um, but yeah, um, so I've got that to look forward to, so, uh, uh, you know, all the family are coming, so that'd be nice. And then, uh, from then on, we'll be focusing on purely towards TF Nation. I really can't wait for it. Um, so I'm looking forward to meeting the guest again this year. It'd be nice that, yeah, Greg Berger's going, Greg Berger's doing again, I met him um, a few years ago and it'd be great, you know, great to meet him again and just just cannot wait and, you know, just to see all the whole gang and um, I'll be rocking up to the Hilton on the Thursday, Thursday the 8th, so, yeah. A uh, point that, uh, I just want to uh, sort of respond to a point that Tony made. Um, in his TF Nation video that he posted, I think yesterday, I saw it. And, you know, my, my, he made the point. It's like, why? Why is it that you, you know, why would some of you want to spend extra money on a night, on an extra night there? Can you just go up on the Friday? But no, to say I, I understand why a majority of people come up on the Fridays because yeah, it's cheaper and because uh, I know it's a Hilton hotel and it is you know ever and very and particularly posh Hilton hotel, particularly smart sort of hotel. And, uh, you know, and, um, so yeah, it makes sense why a majority of people do come sort of on the Friday, but it's, it, obviously you think with all the train strikes and that, I mean, in my case, I normally get the, um, National Express coach anyway, I wouldn't normally get the train, um, because, I mean, if I was to get the train from here, Harbour to Birmingham, it would mean, uh, at least two, it would mean having to, Go to Leicester, change trains, and then you know, and then do the same thing on the way back. So I just normally get the I get on the bus here in the morning at Harbour, and then go to the coach station to get the to get the coach on the Thursday, and that just makes it so much easier. And plus, yeah, you, you know, it's a good warm up being there on the Thursday night. The atmosphere builds up. You know, uh, that's just a time to catch up with everyone before the true excitement begins um, but yeah as I say I'm, I'm really looking forward to it this year um, and so this will be the third TF Nation now since the whole Covid and we had to miss out for two years but yeah I really am looking forward to it and um, you know in terms of what I want to get when I'm there um, I'm not really looking out for anything particular. I don't want to spend a, a huge amount on merchandise, um, but so, but 
and I want to be there for the people, for the atmosphere, um, mainly. And of course, I will pick up a few things. Uh, yeah, I'm sure we'll all be hanging about at the bar, discussing, you know, catching up and uh, showing off all the things we, showing off the things we get. And that's just generally what's fun about it, plus those Hilton breakfasts. And another reason I know Tony said was to go up on the Thursday so you can have an extra Hilton breakfast on Friday morning. <laughs> so altogether, we get to have four, oh, we get to have four of those breakfasts. So I go from Thursday to Monday. So, yeah. It's uh, still sound quite croaky, but... I'm glad I'm able to, I've been able to get out for get some air today. Uh, because, yeah, I, I was in, I was in the flat, my flat for like two whole days. Didn't get any fresh air at all. It wasn't very good. And then I was in all day yesterday as well. And it, that's not good for me. Because that can start to get me thinking about things, get me a bit worried and anxious, which isn't good. So I'm going to get out, get some air. But, um, yeah. Uh, what have I been doing? I've been mainly, yeah, I've played a few games. I need to catch up on housework because for the days I've been bedridden, I haven't been able to do very much. I uh, haven't been able to see very many people, obviously, because I've been ill. Um, but, yeah. So I've been playing some games, been playing back on the, going back on the Nintendo Switch, the PS5. Um, I've been still using my Xbox mainly for sort of streaming services and all that. Uh, but yeah. Oh, sorry about that. Yeah. So, but. Yeah, so I'm still not, I'm about probably 50% better at the moment but yeah what can you do I haven't been ill for a long time for like over a year so I think that um, maybe partly that's because I've had the regularly had the Covid jab that's what my mum was saying is my mum hadn't been ill she hasn't had a cold for over a year but I think suddenly I, I started to feel it I started to feel a bit under the weather on the Thursday night went to bed woke up Friday morning um, and I thought, oh dear, no, I've definitely come down with something. I was hot, my throat was sore, it was, you know, runny nose and all that. And, uh, you know, we, a bit of joint pain. So I thought, oh, is this, I, th I think, I think it could possibly be, might be gastric flu. I have had that once before. I think it's what it could be. Probably gastric flu. Um, but yeah, so... Yeah, I've been, I haven't been in the best of shape, but, yeah, I think, I think I'm on the mend. Say for two, you say for, on, on Sunday of the bank holiday weekend, I did start to, I felt a lot better, and, um, it was kind of back to me old self for, for about a day, but then, um, and then Monday, um, yeah, I don't, didn't do much on Monday, it was, uh, just, just, just did the usual stuff, like, was, I think was mainly at home, went out, did a bit of shopping, but then yesterday, um, I woke up, and I was feeling very, I was feeling quite, quite run down again. Ooh. But yeah, so it's passing now. <laughs> So I hope, I hope you're all well. Thanks for sticking with me. Um, in terms of purchases, I haven't bought anything. I'm not going to buy anything now for a little while. Probably not till around TFM, as I want to save. Um, okay, well, thanks for watching. You're all awesome. I'll see you soon. Bye.